it is now the 27th uh, of December and today I'm going to be trying to box in the bulkhead um, don't know what's going up there yet I haven't decided so my plan is to make the cupboard as big as possible because um, I'm not sure what's going to go up there yet my original plan was to have the kids um, um, what they called what they called do they know what they called sleeping bags um, yeah so all the kids bedding was going to go up there um, but it's a big space so I'm not too sure yet what I'm going to put up there so I'm going to make it as big as possible so at least then I've got more options so I um, just so want to say thank you to everyone so far who has subscribed um, at the moment there's 194 subscribers to my channel and I appreciate every single one of them I didn't even think I'd get 10 so I'm glad that a lot of my videos are helping um, the amount of feedback I get on Facebook as well is unreal um, the amount of people that said that I've helped them so that is my whole point of doing these videos to help others in the same situation so I do appreciate that and I appreciate all comments and everything as well um, I have this morning set up my own Facebook page um, it's called Budget Self Build Camper Van Club um, so on there I will start putting all my videos on there as well um, anyone is welcome to join it uh, any questions or help and hopefully soon there'll be more people on there to help as well so all good um but yeah so back to this now um I'm literally going to be putting a baton across the top i've already got one along the bulkhead as well um i've also got um, a cigarette socket which will be going into the boxing in and also i can't show you now because it's screwed on but here there that's um the program the control panel for my diesel heater so that's going to be getting put on there as well um with this cigarette socket um i think that one is going to be getting used for uh, my reverse camera and my, my uh, front camera um because i've only got one in the front i didn't I wanted to use that one for my phone charger when we're driving sat nav um, and also I bought um, I think what it is now it plays your music and stuff through you your stereo because I've only got the box standard CD player that come in the van um, and at the moment I'm not changing that because I don't feel the need to we've got CDs and we can play the music through the little um, thing that I bought I think it was only a tenner. So I've used them in the past, and this one is the new edition. So <laughs> for 2020, so I'm hoping that it'll be okay. So yeah, I suppose better get started. <laughs> it's like it's two degrees in here today. It is absolutely freezing, but just found a nice little heater in the garage. So all these days I've been cold and getting a cold. I've got this in the van, in the garage even. Just hope it works. cold air
think it's broke. At least the van's getting colder. Watching the blows up now. So there we have it. I've got a heater that don't heat, and then the van and my hands are colder than what it originally was. So what I'm going to do is. I measured the length of it that I need um, and because the ceiling is arched I'll cut the length down and then cut it into sections um, so you get the whole curve of what you do in one it bends anyway yeah ignore that <laughs> You'd think that because of my floor layer, I'd be able to do a bit of carpet. I hate this stuff. Done the, the first part, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, I ran a bit of the metal framework. Ain't too bad. I'm hoping that the straighter sections will be a bit easier. But yeah, I don't like it. It's nice stuff though, because you can literally stretch, hence the name four way stretch. It stretches every single way. So it is pretty good stuff. All good. Well, I'm stretching it now because I cut it short. <laughs> so I'm making it a little bit longer. So, started doing the carpet now, um, at the top of the bulkhead. Um, me personally, I'm not that keen on the four-way stretch carpet. Um, I did originally buy it for the side door and the back doors. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not really impressed with it, to be fair. I'm, I think I might now just go for the cladding on the doors because um, I was undecided what to do with the doors but now after fitting that bit I've decided I think I'm going to go with the cladding on the doors now um, just it's not for me I ain't that keen on it I'll, I'll still be using it along the door frames and around some of the metal areas that are on show 
um, where that I can't get the cladding and stuff. But yeah, it's I'm not a favourite. I'm not a fan of it to be fair. So, but each to their own. Some people love it. Some people don't. If you all have the same views, then every van will be the same, wouldn't they? So, but yeah. It's a no from me, unfortunately. It's now carpeted. It's not the best, but it's not going to be on show. And it looks a bit better than metal and insulation all on show. So, a quick fix. Unfortunately, I'm ashamed to say I'm a floor layer with a stay to that, but it'll do the job. This is why I don't tidy up the van. I can never find anything. But when the van's a mess, you know exactly where everything is. And now I can't find my ends. should have gone for two pieces there's too much tension on the curve that's what you get for being lazy so now I've got to cut it because of the the curve on the, uh, the roof what I've done is I've cut slots down so these can bend then as you can see there's a gap and now it's closed so there's that one closed so I can get more of a curve on it without having too much tension on the wood I should have done that in the first place it's been lazy but oh well start again So nice and solid now. Uh, with that I use self tapping screws because um, it's going straight into the metal frame which runs across the van. Normal screws wouldn't go in so I've used self tapping screws, self drilling screws, depends on where you're buying from. Uh, that way you haven't got to pre-drill into the metal. Um, just screw straight in. Just don't confuse them with other screws see if you've got other screws the same size and you pick up them by mistake it's a pain so always keep your sour tapping screws in the box I've learned that the hard way so now that's done I'm going to put a couple of front, um, bits of wood coming down and then I'll go over the cross over across the whole lot with some plywood then 
and start building the doors. So, got all the framework done now. Got the struts in there because that's where the cigarette socket and the diesel heater um, control panels go in. And I've got another one over there as well, which is just going to get blocked off. So this part here is going to be the, the door section. So now I've cut down the plywood. I've measured the highest point, which is 28 centimetres. Um, and where the plywood meets here, I've cut that down. So I've got a little section for there and the same for that end. Um, so I've cut them down, so what I'll do is I'll mark them out, um, get them in place, and then I can template the middle part then. What I'm going to do is, the baton that I've got running across the bulkhead, because that's straight, ish it's yeah it's not straight but it's as good as i'm going to get so i'm going to use that as my marker to work out how to get all that in limited as well to the amount of wood that you've got and you are templating um, when you are cutting just cut little bits off at a time um, better off cutting little bits and cut more than cut too much in the first go and then have to start again so I've got that done that's the first one So I've got the plywood up, um, the two end pieces are cut as well, all around the edges. The middle piece, I've marked that and that's fitted. And the same as what I've done with the cupboards as well. Um, I've put this in place and what we do is I'm going to cut now about three centimetres off the top. Um, put that back on. Um, in the same screw holes and then this part here will be the door um, the reason I do that is because if I was to cut three centimeters off all the way across and then try and screw it on it might be a bit uneven compared to the door so that's why I'm doing it that way I found it easy with the cupboard to do it that way as well um, so yeah the bottom of here as well um, I mean this goes to the bottom of the wood bottom of the bulkhead I'm going to add about that much, um, I think I've got some 12 more ply left over. So my plan is, underneath here, I'm going to have uh, some curtains. So at least then they can be screwed onto the, uh, the, the plywood then from the other side. So you can't see it from this side. Um, just gives it a bit of a neater finish. So that's my plan today. Ooh. When you get splinters down your nail. So yeah, that's my plan. Uh, I'll finish this off tomorrow. And now I'm thinking, um, because I put carpet around the edges uh, on the metal, well, obviously there'll be carpet here as well. Um, I might come across this with um, the same carpet, just so it's warmer feel. Um, it says on the wood on show then as well. So, I'll see, see what's left. 
So that's it for today. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I'll be in the van today doing any work because. <laughs> How you did? <laughs> we are having fun today. So, just been able to get some fuel. Got two of these. So now I should be able to use the diesel heater. Because it's 0 0.6 degrees. So I think today get the diesel heater on and get this place nice and warm. So get that turned on and then I shall carry on then with the uh, bulkhead. The diesel heater is now on. Getting nice and toasty in here now. So I'm just cutting the uh, the top part back, which is where the hinges are going to go on to. So that's the door, and this is the part where the hinges connect to the top of there. Oh. Snowing again. So what I've done is I've cut the top part off, which will go up the top, and I've put the screws back in the holes, so now I can line up as to where I put the holes before, so I know then this is straight and it won't bend in any way. So the last thing I want is when the door goes on, it'd be uneven to the door in any way. All my cables are all covered, ducted in, cable tied, and then I've just taped a few bits round just to secure it. So everything is ready there and all done. Along the front of here is the wire for the uh, diesel heater. It's been wrapped properly and I've put foil tape around it because along here, I'll put some more carpet so it's not on show. Cover that up nicely. All good. So I've put the wood across the front now. And now I'm just going over the top with the carpet. Um, managed to cover the wires as well and overlap it over the top. So looking a lot better than just wood. Uh, the one side is carpeted now. Got a little carpet on the inside as well. And now to do the next one. So now that I've started doing the four-way stretch carpet on straighter areas and areas that are flat and solid, it's one hell of a lot easier. Um, 
So I know I didn't recommend it earlier, but now that I'm doing it on plywood and stuff, it's it, it's, it's bang on. So I'm really impressed with how it's turned out. Didn't like it for inside the cupboard because along the back there's, there's nothing solid and just, just didn't like it because I couldn't really get in there. So, but yeah, the finish now on what I've done so far, I'm happy with. So, it is pretty good. So now I'm just going to start doing this side now where all the electrics is coming through. So, and just the door left then. So, got my door and I'm going to do the front and then on the back just wrap it round as much as I can uh, so there's less wood on show. Um, so yeah, need to spray all the front. Make sure to spray the sides as well. What I've done at the top, I've left enough um, for the top part of the front because what I'll do is I'll put the door on and then cut across once the carpet's in place. So. So there's me do to hit a control at and my rear view camera that's just turned on now. <laughs> I need to sort the wires out as well. I've left enough to allow to go um, through the top of all the um, along all the edges and stuff. Uh, my main reason for putting it here was because I didn't fancy having a wire coming from down there to there I think having a wire coming down doesn't look that good so instead I've ran it up and I'll run it underneath all the trims around the door trim around the seal and it goes into there oh Well, I'm happy with that. I didn't know how it was going to look with all the carpet on there, uh, especially having all different bits of wood and stuff. Um, but it's actually turned out quite tidy. And I'm impressed with it, to be fair. So, there's the finished product. I've got me a uh, 12 volt cigarette socket there. And above that, I've got the diesel heater controller. Nice big door. Going into a nice big storage cupboard. Make sure carpet all around the edges as well to make it look tidy. So all the framework, all the metal work, all the woodwork, everything is all been carpeted. So it all looks nice and tidy. That back part there in the corner 
it's where all the insulation and stuff is. Um, I did try and do it tight, but it's it's not going to go tight. So you're not going to see in there anyway. So I'm happy. All good. So that's the end of the video now. Um, I hope it's helped in some way. And if you like it, don't like it. Let me know. Uh, negative feedback is as welcome as positive feedback. So, uh, but as I said earlier in the video, you can message me. That's fine. It's not a problem. You will also find me on various um, camper van Facebook pages. I'm on quite a few of them. And as I said earlier, I've put my own group in the uh, comments. Uh, that's just where I'm going to be putting all of my uh, videos and progress and stuff like that. So you're more than welcome to go on to that as well. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Well, I'll see you on the next video. See ya.